guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make some fun notepads, pens, and pencil cases. If you're not already subscribed, please do so for more fun DIYs. There is a couple different ways to make the bacon pens. I will show you both. The first one, you will need some photo paper and these bacon printouts. I will leave a link down below where you can print those out. What you wanna do is just cut out both of the pieces of bacon. Now you will need an ink pen similar to this one. Go ahead, take that apart and remove the ink. The next thing you wanna do is just apply some glue to one of the pieces of bacon. Put your pen on there and then apply the other piece of bacon on the top of that and glue it together. Once the glue has dried, this bacon pen will be complete. For the other way to make the bacon pens, you can just print it out on white paper, then apply some packaging tape over the top and then cut those out. Apply the same procedure as I did before of gluing them together. Next I will show you how to make a fried egg notepad. You will need some clay or some yellow foam, as well as two sheets of white foam. I then sketched out a fried egg shape, which I will also leave a link below where you can print that out. Then I just cut that out. Trace the fried egg onto both sheets of white foam and then cut those out. Then you will wanna find some sort of round object that fits onto the fried egg. I'm going to use this bowl. Now trace around that bowl onto a white piece of felt. In the middle of the circle, measure out two lines that are a half an inch long. Now make another circle on the other side. Here is what you should have. The next thing is just to cut that out. Here is what you will be left with at this point. Apply some glue to the felt and then glue that to the foam piece. Repeat that process on the other side. To make the yolk, you will either need some yellow polymer clay or you can use the yellow foam sheets. I'm going to show you the polymer clay. For that, I just rolled it into a ball, flattened it out, and used this cup to make a circle. Once I had my circle, I just baked it according to the package instructions. Here is mine after it was baked. I just applied some glue to the back and placed that into the center of my white foam. While my glue was drying, I just traced out some circles onto white paper using the same bowl as before, cutting those out to create my notepad. To hold my notebook together, I'm just going to use some of this acid-free glue and paint that onto the top of the circle. 
To make my yoke look more realistic, I'm going to use some of this dimensional magic. What I did was I just applied a little bit onto the top and then used the toothpick to spread it around. Once you have the entire yolk coated, you will just want to set that aside and let it dry. To make the cinnamon roll pencil case, you will need some transfer paper, a cinnamon roll image, and some white fabric. Print your image onto the transfer paper, place that face down onto your fabric, and then iron according to the package instructions. And just peel back the backing and you will have your cinnamon roll image. Now just cut out around the cinnamon roll. Trace your cutout cinnamon roll image onto another piece of white fabric. Then just cut that out. The next thing you will need is a zipper. I'm using this white seven inch zipper. Make markings on each side of the zipper and connect those lines. Now you will just want to cut that out. Place your zipper underneath, apply glue to both sides and secure the white piece of fabric to the zipper. Once the glue is dried, you can cut off any excess part of the zipper that you may have. Next, I just glued the two pieces together by applying a thin layer of hot glue to the edge. And here you have your cinnamon bun pencil case, your bacon pen, and your fried egg notepad. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to make all these fun breakfast food school supplies. Please check out some of my other DIY videos. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, have a great day, guys.